Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, June 5th. 2019. Please keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So just because it's coming through on the 5th of June or for the 5th of June doesn't mean it has to necessarily resonate at that time. Okay. Whenever it resonates for you the most, that's when the message is relevant to your life and just take it. Yeah. So today is Wednesday. I will be doing happy hour tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to get on the list, you can go ahead and send payment to uh, paypal.me slash divine conversations. Uh, payment or or readings for happy hour are discounted to $20 instead of 30. And I do single question readings during that. I only have a 10 slot session okay or there are only 10 slots during the session yes so if you'd like to get on the list you are more than welcome to um send payment early as of right now the floor is open yeah okay so i think that's it Oh, and also, this is just a general message, okay? So we're not talking love or career or uh, any sort of specific sign or anything. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with the collective right now. All right, guys? So let's just go ahead and get to it. Okay. Okay. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this, we'll give this four shuffles today and we'll see what we get for Wednesday, June 5th, 2019 daily collective message, whatever spirit wants to discuss today, three, and one more. All right, here we go. All right, guys, let's see what we've got here. Best messages, please, Spirit. Whatever you'd like to discuss with us today. Ooh, the devil. Oh, geez. Okay. swords. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Underneath the deck, you have the seven of swords. All right. Ah, deception, lies, cheating, backstabbing. These are all the words that I'm hearing in relation to the seven of swords. Something, someone, is not being honest or something is not clear something is hidden there's either someone's not being honest completely honest about something or um there are just hidden facts some things are hidden something's not quite clear um you have the devil here the devil was the first card to pop out okay um so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this right here because it feels like that needs to be at the top of the reading here, we have the star, ace of pentacles, two of wands. Oh, this is going to be a big reading. Um, let me move this over. Put that there. Yes, this goes here. Now, four of swords. Okay. <clears throat> and then we also have the six of swords, the four of pentacles, judgment, divine wisdom, and the two of swords. That's interesting. Okay. 
Interestingly enough, whatever's coming through here, whatever devil energy you're experiencing or you are, I want to say tangoing with, yes, <laughs> dancing with, not that you're necessarily choose to, choosing to dance with the, the, the devil, although some of you may be or may have had a choice, made a choice to dance with the devil. Um, and it, it really could be quite minor, you know, a minor choice, but it seems to be wrapping you up in something. Um, oddly enough, what I was saying was, even though, you know, there's some sort of dance with the devil that's happening here, it looks like some sort of wish fulfillment may come out of it in the end, because you have the star with the ace of pentacles, meaning to me, this is saying that number one, there's some sort of healing that's happening here, but there's also some sort of wish fulfillment in a sense with a new opportunity or um, a new start, a new beginning. This feels like one of those situations in which the universe is working in a way that is incredibly um, I guess I, the term I want to say is is backhanded, but it's not bad. It's just like something something is working out in a way that you never you didn't even really expect. Never even saw it coming. Like maybe you're in a situation right now where things are like, why is this happening? And yet all it could be turning things out for the better. Um, there's a choice to be made here. Okay, two of wands. And yet, right now, it's best to just rest and meditate on the situation. Because there is a choice that's going to be made, or needs to be made, at some point in the near future, I'm hearing. Okay, but for right now, the best thing to do is just relax a minute, because things are not clear. Seven of Swords, things are not clear. Okay, um, getting down into the second row here. You have the Six of Swords with the Four of Pentacles, Judgment, Divine Wisdom, but then the Two of Swords. That is very interesting. Uh, I, for some reason, I'm picking up an energy. Some of you might be moving. Some of you might be trying to move. Some of you may end up moving in this situation or like be, as a result of this situation. I'm getting that with the Six of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Because the Six of Swords is some sort of energy of like leaving the past behind, moving from rough waters to calmer waters in some case. Four of Pentacles, um, it could be home or stability. I mean, normally the home would be represented by the Four of Wands. So here for the Four of Pentacles, you're, someone's either standing their ground, maybe someone is holding on to something like saving up money. And yet, with judgment and divine wisdom here, followed by the two of swords, that's really interesting. There's some sort of indecisiveness here. The indecisiveness, though, has to do with this Seven of Swords, this deception. It's like, it's similar to this up here, only this is this Two of Swords here feels like silence. Maybe being silenced or staying silent. Maybe not, maybe being silent, silenced in terms of not being able to speak on the situation just because things are unclear. There's maybe a lack of information. But judgment and divine wisdom is adding to the need for it's it's like your 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 judgment or your understanding, you know, the level you may have gotten to 
consciously maybe leading you to say, I'm not, I'm not making a decision right now. I'm not really saying anything about this right now. I'm staying silent. I'm staying put. Okay. This is an interesting situation. <laughs> it feels weird. It really does feel weird. And yet somehow this is all going to work out better than one had expected, is what I just heard, better than you had expected. There's some sort of fear here for sure with the devil. Um, but it also could be a situation in which, like I said earlier, someone is not being honest or completely honest about something. And that could be, the, and this it's this devil energy here that really could be the deciding factor as to why someone would get some sort of brand new start or something. Now this bottom row, it could mean it, I am picking up a, a move of some sort for some of you or for someone here, whatever you're going through. This might influence you to want to move or to try to move at some point, um, like change homes, but also it doesn't have to be that way. The movement could just be um, the movement could just be leaving this behind you and just kind of like because I'm getting a strong especially with this four of pentacles here and how it's even depicted you see how she's like clutching her throat there there is an energy of staying quiet not wanting to say anything not wanting to do anything kind of just letting the energies play out but also standing your ground here okay There's hope and there's healing with the star. This is a really good energy. This feels really good in this situation here. Something's going to turn out better than someone may think. And it's all because of that devil energy up there. Something's not right. Something just is not right. But that's okay. You don't have to do anything about it right now. Just let the situation play out. Now this Ace of Pentacles could be money, could be a payout. There could be a decision about money trying to be made here. But yet there aren't, like the Seven of Swords is overall energy right now. Like something is not right. Either someone's not being honest or someone doesn't have all the information, which could lead to another, which could be another reason why the silence is happening here. I just heard now is not the time to make the move. Let it play out as it will. You will see the future brighten. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that means for somebody, but. Okay. Um, let's get into some clarification now. I'm going to use the epic tarot today. Um, and what I think I want to do is I want to clarify the devil first because that's the biggest fact. Like, that's very top of the reading here. That's the biggest factor in this. I want to see what this devil energy is before we go any further. Yeah, so I'm going to give this three shuffles. Let's see what we get for clarity. Please, spirit. Last one. Okay, guys. Let's get some clarity, please, spirit, on this, starting with this devil energy here.
damn it, are you kidding? <laughs> the devil came out again. Wow. And that's so funny because as I started shuffling, I was like, in, in my head, I'm like, watch the devil come out again. <laughs> okay, what else please, spirit? Ace of Cups in reverse, that's interesting. Page of Pentacles. Oof, but death, wow. Underneath the deck you have the Three of Wands. Okay. Death came out, it came out sideways though. Okay, so death can, it kind of came out like this, like sideways here. Um, and I'm kind of feeling two different things here. Either someone is Give me a second. I should read these upright. Okay. And yet I still feel like there's some sort of resistance to change here. The Apes of Cups representing love, uh, divine love, um, self-respect is an energy that I'm getting here. And then with the page of pentacles, you have a uh, very interesting, you have a reset button, maybe an apology. It could be uh, like the Start, starting over with a financial situation, um, moving to a new level somehow, especially because you do have death here with a transformation. Ace of Cups, I really do feel like it's, it's some sort of self-love, divine love maybe, that is affecting this devil energy and creating some sort of transformation to some sort of new level. It's almost as if the devil is here and there's some sort of co like codependency or attachment or um, that's so crazy that the devil came out on that, but as the first card too, but um, there is some sort of trickery, tomfoolery, uh, devil energy, yes, um, codependency, attachment, toxicity, whatever, however it resonates with you. And yet, okay, okay, this could be two different people. So you have the devil with death, which is a transformation here. And then you have the ace of cups with the page of pentacles. It's either two different people, or maybe it's two parts to the situation. Like somebody goes through this transformation and finds a little more self-love, self-respect, and starts over at a new level. Hit reaches a new level. Three of wands is underneath the deck here. To me, that's saying Oh, I'm sorry, let me finish what I was saying before, but um, you have those, you have either two people or two, uh, two, two sides or, or two phases of the situation. Either someone is going through a, um, a transformation because of someone else embodying a sense of self-love, somewhat honesty, maybe, maybe naivety or youth, um, but Honesty, integrity, the, you know, the, 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 the Page of Pentacles represents honesty, integrity, um, uh, commitment, you know, following through, learning, excitement, seeking, understanding. Um, sorry, I was getting distracted because there were some birds that were fighting outside. <laughs> so you could have two people or two phases or two sides to the equation. You have someone that's 
going through a death and transformation and starting over on a new level because of a sense of self-love, honesty, integrity, that kind of thing, okay? Three of Wands here underneath the deck is talking about actually being on the right path, even though it may not necessarily look like it. There is a, uh, uh, someone could be waiting for a return on an investment, okay? Okay. All right, so now let's get into this this row here. The star, ace of pentacles, two of wands, four of swords. There's, it, it could be a handout. There could be a payout. There could be a new start, a uh, new financial endeavor, um, just like literally just a reset button and starting over physically somehow. Let's get some clarity here, please, spirit. The eight of cups in reverse. The ace of wands. Very strong ringing in my ear right now. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. Victory. Ah, with the Hanged Man. Okay. This is interesting. So underneath the deck right now, you have the Six of Wands. So there is in fact a victory here. There is a brand new start that's coming. There is a new direction that someone is moving in, Ace of Wands, new chapter, a new book, that kind of thing. Eight of Cups in reverse with the Hanged Man. So I'm kind of getting an energy of, instead of, Instead of like walking away from the situation and like say not dealing with it, there is a change in perspective that comes through that allows some sort of victory, six of wands, um, new beginning, new start, fresh energy into the situation, or just starting a new chapter. Now, maybe you've already walked away. Maybe, maybe. That feels like a little bit of a stretch. What this really feels like is an energy of not necess of, um, of dealing with the situation, not trying to avoid it, not trying to leave it behind, but handling the situation. I just feel like where someone may have just like, I don't even know how to put this into words, where someone may have just like ignored, not, not necessarily ignored it, but not like followed through, not done the right thing in the situation. The Eight of Cups in Reverse is kind of saying to me that that's not gonna happen or the likeliness of that not happening is high. It may be that someone realizes that they can't just walk away from the situation. There is some sort of binding here. And it could be this person that's going through this transformation here with death and the three and, and, and uh, the devil. Maybe, th maybe this situation influences someone to turn over a new leaf. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, or in this deck, it's the Ace of Books, okay? Because I was feeling like the star was saying, because this is all, con this is all, um, what's the word I'm looking at? Clarifying. The star, the ace of pentacles, the two of wands, and the four of swords. So between the star and the four of swords, it's just saying, like saying, wait, hold on a second. Just wait a second and let it play out. Okay. So now let's get down into the, to the bottom row here. Six of Swords, four, four of Pentacles, Judgment, Divine Wisdom, with the Two of Swords. This really just feels like, it's like not even, the energy feels like someone here, someone may be the aggressor and the other may not 
be even trying to fight or or, or like make it have, have a problem you know um it doesn't mean you're not going to stand your ground for pentacles okay this really could have something to do with the home i'm just getting a home situation some sort of physical situation with the home for someone but it just feels like this there feels like there's a it feels like there's a passive energy here but not in the sense that you're trying to be a pushover or something it's just like not trying to fight okay let's let's see what we get just some clarity please spirit on this section here eight of pentacles okay justice oof Okay. Underneath is the two of cups. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So underneath the deck here, we have the two of cups. This could be this. I, I'm feeling like a little bit of a, like a truce or maybe a reconciliation of some sorts. Um, but you have justice with the eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So. Wow. I do, yeah, okay, I do feel either it's a reconciliation or maybe some people work together. If there's some sort of energy of people coming together, maybe two people, maybe a group of people. But this feels like people coming together, working together to fix the situation, to, um, to work it out, to close it out, to complete it, and then there's justice that's gonna be served here. Balancing the scales. Working together to fix the situation with the Two of Cups. And it's almost as if maybe you, maybe you or the other person or someone else is aware of the fact that, but see, this was kind of mirroring the energy that I was feeling. Like it's, some, it's like someone doesn't wanna fight about this but they're also, they're gonna stand their ground. They're not gonna be a pushover. They're not gonna allow themselves to be walked all over, but justice is gonna be served. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So that's also, it's also another reason why there's an energy of just needing to like Hold on a second. Not get too hasty, not get too feisty. Just allow it to play out. Okay. Alrighty. Oracle guidance. We're going to go with the Crystal Mandala deck today. Give this three shuffles, and we'll see what we get. For the collective today. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading. For the collective. Okay, we have, huh, card number 35, Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. Okay. Here we go. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, 
but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. And it's crazy because that falls right in line with what I've been picking up here in this situation. Just let it play out. Just let things happen. I just heard divine decree. You don't need to push or involve yourself too much more than maybe you already have or than may have already been necessary, whatever. Just let it play out, see what happens, go with the flow. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, we are doing happy hour tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you all there. And with that, I hope you have a great day. And if I don't see you for happy hour tonight, then I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. Hey, hey, you stop.